I'm at the Honda stall at the Auto Expo and I'm talking to the man in charge of India, Yuichiro Ueno. Good afternoon. Good Thank afternoon. you for it's coming a, to It's been an business. interesting time for Honda in the market. You have uh, had great success over the years, the last 20 years Thank in the city. Yes. And your new car is also performing well in the mm -hmm. market. You have uh, your WRV that's done pretty well. And uh, I think it's a lot of the success is due to the fact that it's fully loaded and with yes. features. Yes. But you have a lot of new cars coming next year mm -hmm. and it's going to be an exciting time. So can we go through them? Let's start with the all new Amaze. Uh, much larger looking car and a much more uh, substantial car on the yes, inside yes. and on the outside. Mm -hmm. What kind of potential do you see in this car? Actually, last year, uh, the uh, India market exceeded 4 million volume uh, for the first time yes. and became the fourth largest uh, market in the world, overtaking Germany. So, uh, India is becoming the, one of the most exciting market in the world. So Honda, we Honda are seeing this market as a very, very important and potential market. So, and also uh, because of the increase of the income levels, a lot of our, our first time buyers are coming to the entry segment. And we think uh, uh, the AME segment uh, is one of the uh, very potential segment. And we'd like to have a good presence in this segment. That is the objective of this car. Okay. Were you fully happy with your kind of success the first time around? Because uh, you know it was your first compact car, and uh, it, 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 you had many learnings from it, which we can see that, that you've, yes. uh, you know improved on this car. Yes. But any specification change? I believe you're looking at an automatic for the diesel, mm -hmm. the CVT. Mm -hmm. So first generation was the first uh, model uh, to be launched in this segment. However. Uh, we had a lot of feedbacks from the customers or our dealerships and also reflected that kind of a request to the developing team. This car was actually developed in Thailand, R&D Thailand. However, our engineers in India R&D also played a very important role. So I think uh, uh, this car has more reflection of the uh, preference of Indian customers. Coming to the mm -hmm. automatic on the diesel, it's mm -hmm. going to be a CVT which will be expensive, it won't be like a EMT which is right. you know, cost, right. cost, very cost friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think it will take the price of the maze a bit too high? Will it be, will it be we, something that people want but yes. it will be too expensive for them? We still have manuals, so, okay. Okay. so uh, we, are, we are offering both options and also okay. we are seeing a big movement from manual to automatic okay. yeah. because of the which recent you're, you're traffic jams. Yes. One. So I think uh, we are receiving a lot of requests for uh, automatic, automatic or CVTs. With diesel? Yes, with diesel, with diesel as okay. well. So. Okay, and will this, will this go to the other cars in the range, the city? Because I think the city has only automatic petrol for now. We have some uh, restrictions, so cannot uh, pr fully provide to every model, but uh, we okay. are trying, we are uh, study, uh, planning to expand okay. uh, automatic. Now, uh, on, on the one hand, you have uh, someone like Toyota, the competitor, a long time competitor, who's come to the Indian market finally with the city competitor, mm -hmm. but they have no diesel engine. Mm -hmm. And you, uh, on the other hand, you know, going forward very strongly with diesel, mm -hmm. you've seen the success your 1.5 mm -hmm. has had. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have a diesel Civic and you'll have a diesel CRV soon. So you think this is a sort of uh, dissonance in the market or is the market telling you diesel is still very popular? Diesel, uh, recently we are seeing some shift from diesel to petrol because uh, the price gap is narrowing. Okay. However, okay. especially in tier two, tier three cities, we still see a lot of strong demand for diesel. So uh, we think uh, it's very important to have diesel variants uh, for a while in the Indian market, especially for uh, relatively smaller cities. And, uh the sister car to the Yamaze is the Prio, and you've not faced too much success with that. There was a lot of perception that the car is small and mm -hmm. expensive and the interiors were not good. So will you keep pushing forward with that, even though right now the numbers for the Prio are very tiny? Will mm -hmm. you keep investing in that brand? Will this facelift, uh, similar facelift, go on to the Prio? And the, these interiors go on to the Prio? Mm -hmm. So this, this car has a new platform, okay. and uh, maybe using this platform, another uh, type of models can be developed. So okay. we are currently uh, uh, studying the market, okay. 
Okay. And what kind of uh, models can be suitable okay. uh, to be developed? Models. Or can be SUVs or okay. yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. or okay. MPVs. Okay. MPV, SUV, yeah. So hatchback. what kind of uh, models would be suitable? What does Honda call this platform? This new platform. At this moment, uh, we don't have a specific name. It's a uh, Amaze, uh, Amaze platform, but new, new Amaze. Amaze platform. Okay, okay. And <coughs> now coming to the your, your next launch, you had a Civic in India for many years. Mm -hmm. You discontinued it, but you're coming back with the new car, mm -hmm. and it'll be petrol and diesel, mm -hmm. and it'll be fully loaded, and it'll be, have a lot of interesting kit on it. Mm -hmm. What's the logic and reasoning behind that? You know, going away with the car and coming back with something. And you know, this is a segment where there's not much growth. Yes. A lot so, of competition. Originally, so, Civic was a main uh, main models. Right. However, uh, the India market is uh, basically small car oriented market. So we decided to launch more small vehicles. And also, at the time of uh, we discontinued Civic, the exchange rate was very tough. So. Uh, considering those situations, we decided to discontinue it. However, after that, we received a lot of uh, uh, response or request okay. Okay. for the models. Okay. Especially this generation of Civic yes. is very successful in other countries. Very yes. yes, so finally, uh, we considered to okay. relaunch them. And, and, and will you be localizing more of it to bring the cost down? Uh, to what extent will you, will you stamp uh, the panels At this here, moment, uh, the volume the volume of this segment is not so large okay. uh, compared with city or May, okay. so localization is uh, quite li uh, limited. Limited, mm. okay. And, and Mainly uh, uh, importing the okay. quite some components from Thailand or Japan. Okay, and when are we likely to see the Civic in the market? By, by, by March by, next by, by year. Okay, yes. by March next year we should expect sure. this car in the market. You also have a new CRV here, it's got mm -hmm. seven seats, it's got a diesel engine, it's much more what the Indian customers mm -hmm. want. Are you very bullish on that car as well? Yes, so slightly bigger than the current CRV, however, uh, wider interiors and also additional seats are very appreciated in other Absolutely. countries Absolutely. which launched uh, this car, so we are expecting a uh, quite res good response, especially this segment is <laughs> These are oriented much. Okay. And, and the same sort of mm. time frame before March next year? Or will this come earlier? Yeah, not not the same timing, but uh, okay. also within the next five years. Okay. Okay. Mm. So uh, we had uh, dealers were telling us it would be coming in the next three or four months. So that, would it be that soon? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but uh, not so, not so far. Not yes, so far. not so far. Maybe, maybe a bit, a bit after that. Now, Honda has been very strong on uh, hybrids. Your workout hybrid delivers a fantastic fuel economy mm -hmm. in a uh, sort of conditions, difficult driving conditions. Uh, when would it be that you, you know, assemble a hybrid and sell it as part of your package in India? You, you made some announcements on batteries and mm -hmm. investments in that. Can you tell us something more about that? Yes, uh, we are always seeing the potential of hybrid market, uh, especially after 2020, the car fare regulation in India would be more strict. So uh, we think uh, it would be more almost essential to launch okay. uh, hybrid vehicles. But uh, unfortunately... And, and, and that will be from Amaze up or it will be certain categories? Maybe uh, we should choose from some global models. Okay. Yes, uh, we have some uh, hybrids. Most of them are on hybrid global models. So. Okay. okay. And you, you like Toyota Sanders, you will mm -hmm. assemble here, mm -hmm. but will you, lo will you buy components locally for the hybrid as well? Will you do the make in India thing? We, if we uh, launch hybrid vehicles, I think uh, it would be localized, localized. Lo localized assembly, but uh, some components maybe have to be imported okay. from in the beginning, countries. but uh, we want to maximize. Okay. So you're looking at a 2020 time frame. It's, uh, at, at least, yes. At least, mm. at least. However, unfortunately, uh, the tax uh, subsidy for hybrid was removed. Yeah. Yes, so the GST is very high. GST is very high. Yes, yes. So, so do, do we, you, we still need to. I think the. I think, I, I think even the. Uh, 
the government representative who was in India from Japan has made a plea to the government. Because there are a lot of Japanese companies who are working on hybrid sir. So yes. do you see anything coming off that? Mm. So yes, sir. so hybrid, hybrid is uh, can save a lot of uh, fuels. So and also uh, we have developed a much newer generation hybrid, which has much better uh, fuel efficiency. So I think uh, it's, it would be definitely def uh, beneficial for India's uh, environment. So together with, of course, we are receiving some support from Japan government. But, uh, uh, we are, we'd like to keep on approaching to the Indian government to support hybrid. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.